what is this data service lightning lightning data services lds now in the visual force if you remember we had an operation called fx page standard controller equal to account where i used to give fx form page block Listen to the concept carefully. <coughs> we are referring to account dot. So what was this? If you want to refer to the properties of a object, if you want to create any record, you want to update any record. you want to delete any record without using apex classes without using apex class if you want to interact with the database without using apex class then we used to use a concept called apex page standard controller equal to account then we used to say account dot name account dot phone account dot industry this is how we used to refer right without referring to the apex class without referring to the apex class if you want to interact with the database you will be using standard controller equal to account and on the top of it i can perform the operations like this apex page block buttons Let's command button value equal to action equal to am I right, boss? So what is the use of this without writing any server side controller? We are able to interact with the database that may be for fetching the record. updating the record saving the record deleting the record am i right now the exactly the same format if you want to use in the lightning how will you achieve without writing any server side controller if you want to perform a dml operations or you want to retrieve a data from the server side how will you fetch it in the visual force we had this concept in the lightning we have lightning data services lightning data service is exactly like taking standard control equal to s object when i said standard control equal to s object we can refer to the fields of the s object we can save the data we can edit the data we can read the data we can have a list view without referring to the server side controller the same the same if you want to implement in the lightning lightning concepts we'll go with the lightning data services i hope you got the concept right i hope you got the concept what was that without going to the server side if you want to interact with the database you want to save a record you want to update a record you want to delete a record then we go for lightning data services okay this is one of the concept where we are going to use what is the advantage of going for this let us see i have an example look at this example i have a parent company this is one parent company this is my parent company in the parent component i have component 1 component 2 
there are four components there are four components all the four components are writing a softcall query to get the same data now let us say it is displaying name it is, it is displaying like this it is also trying to display the data but a different view view may be different At the end of the game, all of them are referring to the data from a same object. We had four components, and all of them are referring to the data from same. So just to get it understanding, I am taking a same record. You might have displayed the child records. You might have written some XYZ, okay, XYZ logic. You may have your own logic. We had. Now, if I want to get this data, what did you do? What have I done? I have written a SQL query. SQL query saying that select name, industry, ownership from. Again, this component is also writing SQL query. This component also SQL query. This component also SQL query. Now, when I load this component, when I load this component, how many SQL queries are going? Four SQL queries. Every SQL query requires a database interaction. Every SQL query requires a database interaction. So, how many database connections are established here? Now, it is letting the server performance down. It is letting the server performance down because all the four components are for independent. All the four components are for independent. If you are making a SQL queries, all the four are writing for different queries and they are running parallelly. Are you getting my point? So, how many times the SQL queries are running? Four times. Because so which server button is done. Boss, when you are getting the data from the same object, why should I write the query four times? When you are interacting with the same database, when you are interacting with the same table, why to write four SQL queries? That is the reason they have interaction with the LDS. So, what the LDS? They will synchronize and see what are the queries we need to write. They will serialize, they will identify what queries, what data. Then they will scrutinize and make a number of queries. Shorten the number of queries, then make it. Now, if I am using LDS, how many SQL queries will run? Only one SQL query. And it will have a strong internal cache. It will have a strong internal cache, which will hold the data, which is used in multiple components. And if any component requires the data, it will not directly make a call to server. It will see whether data is there in the cache or not. Now, what is that cache? The cache is common for entire component. The component may have number of chain elements, but the cache is common for entire components. For all these components, they had a common cache. If any one of the component is requesting any data, first I will see the data is there in my cache or not. If it is not there, then I will go to the server operation. Like this, we are reducing the number of calls to the server. We are avoiding the number of repetitive SQL queries regarding the same data. We are avoiding the number of repetitive SQL queries regarding the same data. Right. So, this processing this. Are you getting my point? Okay. Now, if somebody modified this data, here somebody modified the data, saying private to public. Then what happened? All four components are for individual. Then what happened? If it is a reloading should be done. Boss, if they are using LDS, any change, because all the four are referring to the same data, it will be there in the cache. Any change that is done on this component, it will be automatically reflected in the remaining components. So, consistency of the data is maintained. Consistency of the data is maintained. So, if I modify the data here, automatically it will be updating here, updating here, updating here. Now, generally in the visual force, what happened? 
when i modify on event on change go to apex class okay action function on change javascript javascript will call action function action function will go to server make the changes and reload the page but whereas here they have inbuilt data consistency cache so any change made on any one of the element so that will be automatically notified to all remaining so this is called notification they have component notification lds have internal component notification any one of the component modify the data which is also used in multiple components of the same if any one of the component is modifying the data which is used in other components of the same functionality then automatically they will be notified boss the following changes are done but generally in the visual course how will you do that streaming api in the integration classes we will be learning a concept called streaming api what is that if same data is used in multiple pages if any one of the page data is modified automatically rest of the pages should be refreshed automatically the streaming api the same streaming api concept is here available as a inbuilt in the form of component notifications it is available in the form of component notification so what are the strong features of this strong cache then data consistency and notifications and avoiding number of server side calls are you clear about this are you clear about this okay so let us come back to more critical information basic concept is clear so what is this without having a server side controller you want to make a changes on the database retrieve the data or insert the data update the data delete the data without having a server side controller i want to insert the data in database fetch the record from database update the record and delete the record that is the meaning of standard controller also in the vf page whatever the standard controller is doing same functionality i am trying to achieve in the lightning by using lds i hope you are good okay so it has a lot of critical information so let me open the documentation of this lightning data service try to reach that okay no issue so what was the lightning this is usually basically used for what data okay lightning data service is to load create edit or delete a record in your component without requiring apex code what is the purpose of lightning design system it is used to it is used to is to load load is fetching the data load create edit delete a record in your component without having server side controller okay great basically now if you are going for a visual force page till the visual force page will be running as with sharing or without sharing when i have visual force page apex page standard control equal to account then what happened whoever is running the page according to his odbds according to his sharing rules the page will be running whenever i have a page whenever i have a page with standard control equal to account if sham is opening according to the sham profiles odbds sharing rules everything will be applied on the page so whatever that you are allowed to see only the data will be visible whenever we are having a visual force page with a standard controller equal to object the page will run like the page will respect all the sharing rules and properties of user context when you are writing a program in the apex class then trying to display the data in the vf page it is apex context whenever we are having a controller whenever we have a controller apex page controller equal to class name then we have a choice with sharing class or without sharing class but when you have a apex page standard control equal to account it is with sharing only that means the current user who is running his properties will be taken into consideration similarly similarly lds also respect the properties of sharing rules odbds profile so lds also will be running as what user context 
wherever i was using lds it is also going to run in the context of user wherever i was using lds it is also going to run in the context of user so lds will run in the context of user that's what we got lightning data service handles sharing rules field level security for you as per the user context the next then if you are going for the is then all the story is what we explained only right fine what are the operations we can perform loading a record saving a record creating a record deleting a record updating a record errors are in case one use case one use case there right boss basically this is the context lighting design system if you want to use a lighting design system if you want to use a lighting design system how do you go for it if you want to use a lighting design system how do you go for it okay let us see this. if you want to go for a lighting design system first we are supposed to understand one component called force record data what was that force record data this is the component which we are going to use So the component is not available. No issue. So what is the component we are going to use, boss? Force. record data this is the component what we are going to use so they are not showing the component we need to see the attributes no issue let me give you component reference from couple of days we are not able to access salesforce documents satish i don't know why uh some they are giving some uh, authentication notification like uh, security notification for european gpr something maybe something related to that some right you know let us see you know. yeah some european nation some gdp is coming i should go through that doc the entire uh, this thing but maybe related to this so component library yeah. i think this structure is changing i guess maybe basically no issue okay let us go ahead with our own structure so when you are going for a red force record what was this force record and why we are going to use it what was the force record why we are going to use it when i say force record generally in the visual force page if you are giving this this page let us say example we have if you are opening this page how do you open this page example slash example question mark id equal to some account id when you give this account id then only the record will be loaded right without giving the account id in the url will the record id pass will the record will be open if i want to use standard control equal to any subject 
if i want to use a standard control equal to any subject and i want to display the data in the page then we are supposed to pass the id of the record in the url now in the lighting whatever the lds we are using it is exactly same like your standard controller so if you want to load the record if you want to load the record id of the record should be passed in the url if you want to load the record id of the record should be passed in the url now i have to make sure i have to make sure that id of the record is passed i have to make sure the id of the record is passed to make sure that we had record id so whatever the record id we are passing whatever the record id we are passing that id will be given here record id ports record data one of the attribute is record id id of the record what you are passing in the url whatever the id you are passing in the url that is referred by record id it is a attribute of attribute of ports record data the next one mode so when you open a page block there will be mode what is that edit mode detail mode similarly in the lightning components when you are using a record they are asking in which mode you want to open you want to display this record or you want to edit this record you want the record to be open in the edit mode like input text or you want the record to be displayed in the view mode so mode is two types one is edit mode other one is view edit is if you want to make any modification view you only to display the record only to display the record so what is the mode mode can be either edit or view which determines the behavior of notification operation okay then layout now they are asking boss which fields of the record should be fetched now if i want the records to be fetched if you want the records to be fetched what we will be doing in example i am going to see in the visual force page whichever the fields we are using apex page account.name account.phone account.industry those fields are fetched if i are using a standard controller or standard set controller in extension what will happen only id will be passed extra fields what i want i am fetching it similarly now you are fetching the record id based on the record id you are supposed to get the record which fields of these records should be fetched i only gave id on the top based on the id i was supposed to fetch the record which fields of the record should be fetched so there are two types what type of layout you want to use one is a full other one is compact full means like your page layout whatever the fields are fields are used in the page layout get me all those fields compact what all the fields are used in the compact get me those to tell you exactly what this is let me go to lightning when i open this here we are able to see account name close date amount opportunity name right the other if you go to the record you are able to see here what was this account name now you are able to see this you are able to see account name this is not a complete record this is not a complete record this is not complete record are you getting my point this is not a complete record so this is called whatever the fields are added to the compact layout those fields will be displayed here other fields you want to see look at this these are the fields this is the fields which are in the compact layout they will be displayed here then when you say full this is the detail fields full means all the fields which are in the detail detail means all the fields which are on the detail the fields which are finding here they are called compact right so on the compact layout what all the fields are there on the on the lighting lighting card what are the fields you are able to see they are detail is a full so you want to go for a compact or a full that's what they are saying what was this layout full compact the documentation is not open so i am just showing from the trailer page attributes okay so what is the format full or compact okay now if you don't want to include the layouts boss i am not sure whether to go for a full or okay compact i will tell the name of the fields directly i don't want to give layout full array 
compact. I'll straight away give the name of the fields. Then you can go with the fields. I can straight away give the list of fields. I can take the fields from layout or I can take the directly field names. I can give directly field names or I can give I can give directly field names or I can say layout. Layout is full or compact. That is clear. Clear boss. Everyone has got it. Mode, layout, fields. Okay. Now you got the record. You told which fields you need. You got the ID. Using that ID, this fields data is fetched. Now, whatever the record that is fetched, where is that record? In the URL, you are giving an ID. And in the attribute, you are saying fields. These are the fields. And I am saying layout type equal to full. I got the following fields. From that record ID, get the following fields. From that, using that record ID, get the following fields. Now, we are getting a record. Where is that record saved? That we are giving. Target record. The record which is populated. Based on the record ID and the fields what we are given, that record ID is in a target record. Now it is in the form of record. No, don't pop it in the form of record. Give me in the form of fields and record. So what is that? Target fields. Any one is sufficient. Both are not necessary. Either target record or target fields. Any one. Then in case if there is any error, how will you handle? Target error. So what are the attributes you are finding for force record data? One is record ID. Idea of the record, what you are passing. Mode, is it an edit or a view? Layout, full or a compact. Then fields, whichever the fields you want to retrieve. Record, record, okay, target record. So from that ID, with this fields, get me the record. And target fields, straight away in the form of fields we are getting error. This is the format. I hope you are good with this. I hope you are good with this. Clear? So this is how force record data is used. This is the component. The core concept is handled by force record data. Now, if you want to use this, if you want to use this, there are some properties we need to understand. If you want to use this, if you want to use this, there are some properties. What are those properties? Let us see. If I want to use this, first we have Flexi. These are the two interfaces you are supposed to handle. Let me give you to avoid the confusion. Right away, I'll take it from the component. Lighting component. No. Data example. We had lightning page. Lightning record page. I selected these two. When I select these two, you are basically supposed to write this, but I, by selecting that also, you will get this. When you select this, I will be getting multiple interfaces. Out of these, two interfaces I require. Available for home page. In the record home page, I can use this component. Whatever the component I created, this component can be included in the record home page. What is record home page? This is what? Record home page. When I open the record, this is the home page of the record. This is the home page of the record. So the component what I created, I can use that component on the home page. I can include that component what I created within the home page. Once I complete this activity, that component I am going to add in the home page. Somewhere on the home page, I am going to add. Like it is one component, second component, third component. I can include one component. Okay. So available for home page. Then has record ID. It will ensure that record ID is passed. If record ID is not passed, we cannot get the data. So has record ID. It will ensure that record ID is passed in the URL. 
it will ensure that record id is passed in the url i hope you are good with this clear okay then can you show which two field options is selected to get this uh, interface okay. okay home page home page record page home page record page Waiting page, record home page. Lighting page, record page. Basically, you are supposed to type this. Okay. Next. You are course record item. record ID. Whatever the record ID we are getting, then we had mode. Then we have layout type. Then we have fields. We have target. Target record. Then we have target fields. Target error. Right. First, these properties are clear. If you have clarity about these properties, then I'll go ahead. Anyone has any query about these properties? What I have given here? Clear. So, uh, Satish, uh, the target fields are those optional or are those mandatory? Come again. This field, uh, th there are three fields related to target, right? Like target record, target, target field, target fields, target. Either any two is mandatory record, target record and error, or target fields and error. Okay, any two is mandatory because this will give a record, this also will give a record, but this is to handle the error. Okay, right thank you. Okay. So, first, as usual, first one. What is the first one we had? Record ID. What is the ID of the record which you are going to take? Record ID. Record ID. Okay. Record ID. So if you look at this, uh, someone has asked me just now. Target fields. Target fields, they are not given target record. Target fields is given, they are not given target record because any one will do. Any one will do. Okay. So go back to the point. Page. So, record ID. Where are you going to store this record ID? V dot. When I am using V, what does it mean? Attribute. If I am using V, V, what does it mean? Attribute. Mode. Edit. If I don't mention any mode, by default it is going to be view. Then layout. Cool. Now you want to specify either layout I am going to use or fields. Any one I will use. Both I will not use generally. Any one I'm going to use. The name for to tell you these attributes are there. I'm using all. But practically, either you use layout or fields. Name, phone, industry. Target record. Record. Yeah, we are some. So these two, any one I can use, either of it, any one I'll use, simple record, so this is how we created this component, when I created this component, you are supposed to create attribute, name, How many attributes we require now? One, two, three, so one, one, two, three, four. First one, record ID, type. Second one, V dot record. 
called type it is going to be object then we had simple record is going to be then last we had so what it is going to do whatever the record id you are passing in the url that record id is stored to this variable okay now using that record id the following fields are fetched there is a record is fetched where is that record stored the same the same record is stored in this whatever the error message we received that is saved here i hope you are good with this right so based on that id the following fields are fetched whatever the record we are fetching they are stored to these attributes okay now initially i'll make it very simple how you display the data v dot simple record dot simple record dot record dot what is this next one very basic level so you are passing an id i am taking that id and i am taking the data whatever the data i have fetched that is stored in a record the data from the record is printed v dot record dot field okay v dot target fields simple record dot field name now this is the component what i created i told you already if the component is having available for record home it can be added within the home page of the record now it will ensure that record id is passed without record id if you are calling this it will throw error message right it will ensure that record id is passed okay now what i will do i wrote for account object right name it can be used for account so go to the account object only find good go to the account object if you go to the account object if i click on setup what are you finding here edit page edit object edit page if i click on edit page it will take me to the lightning app builder it will take me to the lightning app builder let the page be loaded completely okay now let us see whether our component is available or not data example our component is available drag and drop i'll put on the top then save it activate sn org defaults ensure that it's saved one more time go back to the back let me reload the bug was there we didn't activated it i guess we activated let me check out one more time no, no here is a problem with the component uh, we missed the assignment is wrong but they have already recorded come again let me check out uh, in, in, uh, uh, in the component uh, lightning page we missed the estimate symbol line number line number it is 9 9 target error target error target error estimate symbol yeah yeah under record id estimate symbol there yes thank you so we have created this go back to the page again
go back to the component now look at this what happened here we are getting the account name name of the account phone number so we create a component we are adding it now i want to decorate it with some style when you want to decorate with some style so right now at this level i'm just copy pasting some of the lightning card we had a lightning card we just copy pasting it the same template will be copied from where from where sh where should i copy this code from where should i copy this code if you want a lightning card go to slds there go to the lightning card whatever the code we got copy paste okay here i am going to the lightning card i remove this so we are copying so what i am giving lightning card what is the card we are cop copying lightning card cop code we are copying go to slds go to the lightning card we will be finding the code what we have done in the last sessions we went there just copy the code and paste it here here we are going to give what is the name we are printing here sample record dot name okay sample record dot name sample record dot what is the other data we are going to print so in the p lightning formatted text industry right go back to this in we just printed in the regular format so we want to add some style border like a card we want to print we want to print like a card so we modified it so this was printed here like a card it was printed right name industry phone number previously it was a regular format now we are printing like a card so what did we do we created a component we are fetching the data we created one card add it to the record home page now it, i was able to add it to record home page because i implemented an interface i told record home lightning record if i enable that button we are going to get it. lightning page writing record if you enable we are going to get a flexible record home page did you get my point is there was clear is there was clear so we try one more example if you have followed i'll go to next concept otherwise i'll write one more code have you followed satish i have little uh, confusion in using that four component attributes this Uh, I mean the attributes inside the compound. Yeah. Now let us see. I'm removing this. <clears throat> now I explain the compound. Now I'm removing one by one. Let us see. I removed that record, target record. I removed. One more time, I'll refresh. So why? Because any one is sufficient. What is that? Target record, target record fields, right? Any one I can use. If we are using a target record, record dot fields dot record dot fields dot field name. V dot V dot record dot V dot record dot fields dot field name dot value. If it's a record, how should I take? How should I take? V dot record dot fields dot field name dot value. How will you take? How will you take? V dot record dot fields dot field name dot value. 
If it is a target field, v dot v dot target field name dot field name. That is the reason we prefer to go with. Both are used to print the data. One is. If you are using target fields, if you are using a target record, we dot right. So which is easier for us? Target fields. That's why we are preferring. But we are telling both of them are available. Both the choices are available. Okay. Some of the documentation is not opening. I'll open the documentation and show you. Okay. So this is the format. Second, let us go to the next. Now, Sadish, uh, uh, sorry, uh, can you just explain like lightning card? How did we copy the lightning card? Yeah, I'll do that. I'll do that. So the only reason is I don't want to make the things complex at the initial level. So I'm just simplifying it by just copy pasting it. Okay. So we'll, we'll dig into it in detail. Don't worry. But initially, I don't want to terrify, so I'm just uh, trying to simplify the things. So this is a PDF file for the Lightning Developer Guide. One minute, ma. Let me finish up this example. Now I remove the fields, but is there any effect here? No, why? Because I told you can use a layout or you can use a fields because there are two attributes i was trying to explain both of them if you use a layout or a field anyone will do a layout will do or layout type will do or fields will do okay because i want to explain both the things i have created both the both the things here right or did you get my point okay let me do one by one yeah what was your query boss uh, the lightning card we copied right like uh, yeah yeah this Go to what was the thing we have used? Lightning. Lightning card. In the lightning card. Now, how you want the data? You want the message to be printed in this format, right? Without button. So, copy this code. You want the message to be printed just like this? Copy this code. You want the? They have given samples here. You choose what the whatever the sample are. So, the current sample what we have used is this. Show this. Copy the code, use it. If you don't want SCG, any icons, remove that SCG. Right. So sample codes were given here. We are trying to take the sample codes here. Sample code from here. So to, in, order, in order to understand it, we need to spend some time. That's the reason I'm not touching these things as, as of now. When you go to discuss about this uh, SLS, okay, we'll be spending separate sessions for this to understand what are the structures. They will be giving a clear details. Now we are just working out, working on the functionalities. Not on the design levels. We're just copy pasting the design level code. We are only trying to understand the functionality level of every every component. Right, boss. Right, boss. Okay. Any, right. Okay. Now come back. So once again, once again, I'll repeat. We are going to have a in detail sessions about designing systems and all those things. Initially, I am interested in to convey what all the topics are there in the lighting. Okay, so when you build, when you join all of them and make a functionalities, then I'll go for joining all of them and making a functionality. Last step, I'll be going for design system because the design system is a dig system. Now we need to understand the existing code because we're not writing a code, trying to understand the existing code. So we don't want to, okay, break your head in the initial places. So the design system will be coming at the end. Initially, what are the different levels of concepts are there in the lighting, how to use them. Then I'll go with the combination. Then last, I'll come with a design, designing explanation. Right, boss? So there's a sequence of my, I have a sequence. So don't break my sequence. Okay. Right, come back. 
now let us go back to the format one more time new lightning component example 2 what was that lightning page so when you are creating this let's see page so what is the meaning of this if this interface is implemented then then we can use this component we can embed on the home page <coughs> the next fourth as this will ensure record id is passed in the url right first two interfaces then what we had forge record data in the forge record data what is the first one record id what is this record id id of the record that is passed in the url so what is that record id id of the record which is passed in the then we had mode ID. then layout what type of layout we are the options of full and compact no you don't want to give a layout we can also go with fields what are the fields we are giving name then we had target target fields target fields the record fetcher is using this fields this is target field then we have target error what we fetch and to store this data we require attributes what are the attributes we are giving attribute name equal to attribute name equal to my record type equal to attribute name equal to right so we are going to use this attributes here v dot for it v dot right. we can straight away give but if you want to apply any css look and feel you want to get any proper look and feel we are going to copy one of the existing template as you want to use as i want to apply as i want to apply one of the existing template so i am going to copy one of the existing template lightning card this code is related to what lightning card code lightning card this code is related to lightning card you can look at this div what was this lightning lightning card in the lightning card what are we giving here I will write modified code. Okay. Now I have taken lightning card. Lightning card. So when you are going for a lightning card, you need to understand this box. What was this? We understand. So here I want to go for icon. What is the icon? Standard opportunity. Standard opportunity. 
title. So the title is beside the icon, what is the title we are getting? So my record dot. Now you need to understand these styles. So we need to spend some separate time to understand what is the hyphen, what is this double hyphen. This we need to understand. Okay. So it is too early to discuss those things. So what I am doing? Lightning card code. Here in the P I am giving. We already know lightning dot input. Value equal to v dot my record dot. So what I was giving input label equal to I was giving one more. So if I want to give this, I was supposed to give mode equal to. Only when I give mode equal to edit, I'll be getting. So layout type is not layout, it's a layout type and L is small. What was that? Next, you draw attribute. You draw attribute. Right, boss. So it is a lightning card. In the lightning card, what I have taken? Paragraph one, input text. Why did I take P? We have taken so that it will come in every next line. Okay. So to get the proper look and feel, this CSS is applied. So this is how we have created a component with attributes. Now, what I want to do, this is an opportunity. I want to add this to opportunity. How do you add this to opportunity? Go to opportunities. Open any record. Then I had Is a record home page and go to settings, edit page. Save. Right. Go back to the record. Now I give it in the edit mode. Name, stage name, close stage. Now here title I have not given again. Title I left it in half. I have not completed the title here. What did I give? My record dot name. Suppose you get title, no issue. So did you get the component here? So what I'm doing? Creating a component and making. Now once I enter the data, I want to save the data. Once you enter the data, I want to update, I want to save. Then for that, again, separate services are there. Now, what is this service? Loading the record. Now, the service is only loading the record. The service is only loading the record. Now, let us see this. You want to go for a record, v dot. We can add so I hope you are good with this okay now let us see once you have created whatever the data we entered in that box if you want to update to the database we need to call a button so once I enter the data I will create a button when I click on the button record will be saved to database when I click on the button 
record will be saved to database now for this how do you recognize this element you are supposed to recognize this element so how do you recognize this element we will recognize this element by using id ura id so generally in the visual force what we do id equal to id of the element but in the lightning we are going to give ura colon id we are going to give ura colon id in the lightning we are going to give ura colon id okay now here if you want to recognize the element by using an id first we need to know how to get the elements using an id we have seen how to read the value of a component how to set the value of a component how to read the value from a component using a okay v dot attribute name how to set the value of an attribute v dot attribute name get and set so all the examples whatever you have done all of them are referring to the attributes of a component but we never refer to an element using an id in the java script if you want to refer to an element by using id what will you do document dot get element by id so on so but the same story in the lightning how do you refer to the element by using an id in the java script we use document dot get element by id in the similar way in the lightning how will you refer to an element by using an id so here we had component dot find id what is the concept we are going to use we are going to use component dot find in the component find the give the id in the component find the element whose id is matching find the element whose id is matching component dot find component dot find component dot find so this component dot find will give you what record record data will refer to record record data will refer to record that record dot save record the record dot save record now component dot find the element whose id is given for record id record data now i gave id for this record data right now get my id once you get my id component dot find component dot find my id see if i know i am referring to this component what is there in that component what is there in that component record is there that record we want to see okay now i'll explain the rough code we'll see the executions tomorrow but i'll explain the rough code first let us find so what i'm doing component dot find my id in our case what is the id we gave find my id save record when you save the record record is saved successfully or not saved or an exception or an error we should know you are trying to save the record dml may be a success or a failure dml may be a success or a failure or an exception so i want to know whether it is a success or a failure how do you know right we are going to make it whether it is a success or a failure then i want to know the result so how do you get the result save result database dot save result equal to database dot insert database dot insert insert record comma true or false now we are inserting when you are making a insertion of this record then i want to get the call back call back is what whether it is a success or a failure i want to get back so what is the concept here component dot find id id where where id is related to record data component dot find id okay find a record data how are you recognizing based on id once you get save record when you apply a save record the record may be a success or a failure i want to know whether it is a success or a failure so i am going to give a dot get callback so generally what we are going to do set a callback but here the database operation has happened now i am calling get callback get the callback so when you say get the callback what i am going to get so look at the point component dot find my id dot save record after saving the record get the callback when you get the callback i am going to get a, i am going to get a 
save result. Once you got the save result, once you got the save result, I want to check it. How do you check it? If the save result equal to success, do this. Save result equal to failure, do this. Save result equal to error, do this. Is a success or incomplete or error? Success or incomplete error? This is a logic part. There is a logic. I just want to check whether save result or status is success or error or incomplete. Right? Success do this, failure do this, error do this. Just that. save result dot state success, result dot state incomplete, result dot state error. So basically, how do you call? Tell me now. Now, what do you call? If force record data draw ID equal to. Now, tell me how you write it. Component dot find ACC ID dot save record first save record after saving record there is a possibility of I want to get the call back dollar a dot get get call back so when you say get a call back it may be success or save result once you got the save result I am going to say where state equal to save result dot then we are going to write a logic if state equal to success else if as simple as this. Right? When you look at the sample code, a lot of things are given, but basically what, what they are trying to do? State equal to success, do this, else do this. Right? So what is associated with this, we will be looking in the next session. So basically what we have seen for the day, we have seen using LD.